You're watching EVH Gear TV, brought to you by Mike's Music. Visit Mike's Music online for all your EVH and other gear needs. Microphones for EVH Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones, and official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com. Now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH Gear artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday to you all. We're back again live, three days in a row, EVH Gear TV, we are live. Uh, I see a very strange trend happening here. I'm not going to promise this is going to continue to happen, but three days live in a row, kind of crazy. It's been mostly unboxing series, um, a couple of my own and one, uh, you know, shared with a friend, uh, Darren Moore. A um, lot, lot of fun this week, and I think actually there's a potential for five live shows this week because I have more stuff coming in the mail. I've got some good stuff coming in from Mark Kendall of Great White who I had on the show a few weeks back and I've got a pedal coming in from Strymon as well that we'll be doing an unboxing on here as well too. So potentially there could be five live shows plus uh, the live show on Friday night with uh, with guests, uh, Scott Kelby this week. Anyways, this was something I was looking forward to for a while. Um, had a couple shipments come in from Rode and it looked like it was just going to be one shipment. There was some replacement parts for something I had, uh, something I had broke on my own uh, end and Rode was kind enough to fix for me. And um, it looked like there was two tracking numbers, but only one shipment showed up yesterday. It turns out there was a second shipment from Rode and um, it's a uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to tell you about it in a second. Um, what it is, is uh, it's another microphone. So I'm going to tell you about the first one. First, before we get into it, one of the uh, one of its predecessors. So what I'm going to be unboxing today is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So over on one of one of my several uh, Nikon DSLRs I use for shooting, filming, and for, photograph er, for phot photography and for videography, I use the VideoMic Pro, which is a fantastic microphone um, for, for, you know, the run and gun shooters for, you know, any, any kind of interview situation. Um, a lot of my fellow YouTubers use it themselves as well, too. I know Robert Baker, he's a fan of it. Henning Pauly does as well, too. And speaking of Henny, uh, Henning, down in the, the description down below, I've got a link to a great review he just did on the video Mic Pro Plus. He, did, he just uploaded it this morning. It's fantastic. He, all his work is really good. So have a look in the link down below the description to his, uh, to his video. It's quite good. Um, so here's the video mic pro which is really cool about it runs on um, this and this particular one It runs on a 9 volt battery in the front of the, it, the door comes off in the front um, 9 volt battery slips in there uh, microphone jack on the left uh, all your settings on the back your gain stages and things like that So we're gonna jump into the video mic pro and we'll show you the differences You know in cosmetics and what they looks like sound quality. It's not gonna be a lot if any different It's pretty much the same the same microphone with some added features and some of the features like I hinted at in the description, are something that I was really, really looking forward to. And I'll tell you what they are once we get into it. So let's jump over there and have a look. So thank you everyone that's jumping in to uh, watch the live unboxing. We've got Dak Tire, Justin Gardy, and Mitch Hanneman. Um, <laughs> Justin says, three days straight, this is awesome. It might turn into a bad habit. So let's get into this box. Oh, if I can reach it. So in case you wonder where I live, there's Canada. All right, so we're going to get into this here. And as Poison Ivy always says, and this is my disclaimer on the show, cut away from myself. I don't think I can cut away or towards myself and not risk cutting myself. So we'll just do our best here. All right. Okay, we got lots of styrofoam peanuts. So we're going to have to be careful with this one. All right, this calls for a garbage pail. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Lots of styrofoam. Little Eric probably wants to play with all this right now, but these things make a big mess. So I'm just going to dump as many as I can. Actually, you know what? I probably don't even have to dump them. There we go. Very staticky. All right. So as Henning has showed you in his video as well, he unboxed his as well and then did a full review of it. A little staticky. There we go. i going to try to show you that better here. Video Mic Pro Plus. Now, the very, very cool thing about this thing here is the fact that now it comes with its own built-in rechargeable battery, which I absolutely love. And if you can't use a rechargeable battery, I'll show you the other options that you have there as well, too. So let's try to get into the microphone itself. And then I'm going to show you side by side what each of them look like, and you'll see the differences between them. And some people might wonder, well, why am I doing an unboxing of this on the show? You'd be surprised how many people out there are YouTubers, or even, even if the guys and girls out there aren't doing what I'm doing here on the show and what we do on these shows... A lot of people want to have some better audio quality for their family videos and, you know, maybe your kids' plays and things like that or just 
fun things, you're capturing backyard barbecues and family stuff like that. These microphones are for you as well too. They're not just for the guys doing what we do on YouTube and stuff like that. And I really like to try to preserve my boxes and I think I've destroyed this one already. It's very unlike me. That's oh, not too bad. I can live with that. I do save all my microphone boxes. You should see the storage above. It's crazy. All right. So this is nice. What I've what I, I did a, a video review a while back on the um, um, Rode Wireless Filmmaker Kit, and when I was talking about just the boxes alone and the packaging, it's one thing I I, I stress I can't stress enough about Rode is uh, the quality of their packaging now I know you could take a really really you know cheap product and stick it in a fancy box and make it look nice but the product still has to deliver while this product does not only does it deliver in quality and sound but I mean just look at the internal packaging everything is beautiful about it okay I know I might be obsessing but still it means something right so let's get into the internals here all right so I'll start with some of the smaller actually we'll grab the microphone here first the first noticeable difference is the overall size of the uh, whoops, I dropped the cord too, and that's something you can't do on the the predecessor, the Video Mic Pro, because the cord is phys physically attached. So there's the Video Mic Pro. There's the Video Mic Pro Plus. Look at the size difference between them. Let's try to do that again. So considerable. I'll try to put it closer. Right, considerable difference for sure. The Rode Video Mic Pro, the cord is physically attached. The v Video Mic Pro Plus is not attached. Okay, now it does come with its own cord, and people might say, well, why wouldn't you want one that's attached? You, in most cases, you do, but let's say you want to mount this maybe like on a tripod stand off to the side somewhere and run a really long cord. You can run, as long as you've got a long 3.5 millimeter jack uh, cable, um, you can run it to it. So there's right there like that, okay, attaches, and then over to your left side of your camera, whatever. So obviously the first noticeable difference is the size of the mic. The, ba the battery door apparently is a little easier to use than the uh, the previous one. I um, I myself never had any problems with the last battery compartment. Some people have. Um, let's just figure out how to open this one. Pretty straightforward. Drops down like that. So very, very easy. This one's got buttons on the side as opposed to the last one. It's kind of a kind of pull down kind of thing. So that's very, very easy. Your hot shoe, cold shoe uh, thread right there, which is very nice. And one thing I really love about these um, is the fact that they're the large, large thread very easy to put on the camera very very nice uh, let's grab the battery this is this is a godsend to me a lithium battery so basically you can use this and if you if you don't have this or if this dies on you on the road no pun intended you can use two AA batteries which are pretty much the world's most universally uh, universally um, available batteries anywhere you can go to your local corner store and you've got all your AA batteries so it wouldn't be a bad idea to have this charged in your kit and have a couple um, couple sets of AA batteries in here but apparently from what Rode tells me uh, and their specs this will last when fully charged 100 hours so that is that is awesome so I think it can pretty much only go in one way but we'll find out did I put it in the right way I'm not sure we'll find out okay I put it in the right way obviously this is power on the back here's one of the biggest features I love of this thing as soon as you turn your camera on the microphone will turn on as soon as you turn your camera off uh, the power goes off. I'm really guilty a lot of times after doing a very successful shoot. You know, you're excited, you're caught up in the moment, and I'll forget to turn certain things off. Maybe it's a wireless pack, maybe it's this microphone, maybe it's uh, who knows what, a recorder, a field recorder. And the worst thing that can happen to you is getting to your next shoot. If you're doing two shoots in a, you know, several shoots in a day, you get there and you've left something on and you've drained the battery. So this is one thing I really love about this. It will automatically shut off and turn on when you're ready to rock and roll in the field. So I love that. Um, now I didn't get a chance to um, to explore the uh, the settings in here fully yet. Uh, I, I've been reading about it, but there are several gain stages, and then there's also so what you can do there in a case like of a concert setting. You want to be in a concert setting, you want to film the band. Uh, you know it's going to be very very loud, especially if you're up front row. It doesn't matter where you are in a concert uh, environment, it's going to be extremely loud. So you can actually pad this down by up to I think minus 20 dB. So um, and then plus you can further control a little bit on your camera as well too and bring that level down, and you should be able to get a very very nice signal even in an extremely loud environment so I like that there's also another feature on here as well too there's different settings by holding two buttons at the same time um, there's a safety channel which I think is great so what that means by a safety channel you know what it's like sometimes you watch you've, you've got a good level uh, on your on your mix you're, you're monitoring your audio and you think okay this is all going good then you watch it back when you're editing your video and all of a sudden you've got some spikes that are just so hot that you can't even control them with post processing and software and you're like oh you might have ruined a very very good shot 
So with the safety channel, it'll actually record left and right channels, um, and I, I guess dual mono, but still left left channel, and the right channel would be a minus 10 dB uh, safety channel. So if there's something that really spikes, you can go to that second channel and use that as your saving grace in your audio. So this is phenomenal. I love that. Um, I'm going to do a, a test probably off the air with the camera and um, check out the auto power on, auto power off kind of thing. And I think this looks like possibly a USB cable. Uh, yes, it does. And I'll show you what that's for. What's really cool about this is there's technically a third way to power up that microphone by using a USB source. And you're probably all familiar with USB uh, uh, power packs, battery packs out there. A lot of people use them mainly for charging their devices like their iPhones and their cell phones and tablets and the kind of things like that. And um, I first learned about them from a YouTuber that I'm uh, a huge, a huge fan of, Curtis Judd. Um, yeah, look him up. If you're into audio video stuff, look up Curtis Judd and tell him I sent you because he's, he's a genius. I've learned tons of my stuff from him but he's he's been an advocate of the uh of the battery packs for usb power sourcing even behind me you can barely see it this thing up here that's one of my bigger rigs up there and that thing with the orange handles on there that's my field recorder that i normally use for capturing audio it's a task cam unit uh runs on batteries as well but he he uh, he's a guy that made me buy this one he recommended it and i bought it on his recommendation um, and he uses a battery, uh, one of those battery packs as well, USB power sources. I think it's like 24,000 um, millihertz or what is that what they measure it in? Um, as far as, uh, no, I can't be right. But anyways, the battery power, I forget, what they, I forget how they measure that. You audiophiles that are more knowledgeable will know that. But long story short, with this cable, this is a typical USB cable to micro USB. The, the microphone itself, if you die completely with all power, there's a USB jack on the side right here, if I can see correctly with my poor vision. And it would help if I put it in the right way. There we go. And that could be run off your computer or off of a, a regular, regular USB plug-in uh, AC power source or to like one of those battery packs. So you've got three ways to power this thing. I absolutely love that. And also a lot of Rhodes other products, uh, I think they're probably doing this because they're doing it a lot on the other products too, like the wireless filmmaker kits and things like that as well too. They're giving you that option as a USB power source. So there's no way you should be on a shoot and not have power. Um, and uh, chances are, I mean, with all three of these measures, there's no way you'll go without missing your shot. So long, I'm just going to give this a try. We're going to pop it on to the, um, one of my Nikons over here that's within reach. We'll give this a try. Hopefully you guys don't get bored of me doing the technical stuff here on the show, but it's a lot of fun to share with you as well. All right, so let's pull off the Video Mic Pro. And this is going to be nice to have both of these um, in, in working tandem for sure. You never know what I'm doing. All right, so let's turn the, let's turn the microphone off. Press and hold it. All right, so I'm going to mount it on my Nikon here. Now, from what I understand, the, the auto power will work from the power source that gets triggered to the microphone jack. Now, this is this is just my smaller camera. This is just a Nikon 3200. Um, I use this one mainly for B-roll. I don't use this as my main camera when I'm doing shoots. And I, t I generally have a 50 millimeter lens on here. This is a Sigma 50 millimeter art. It's very, very nice 50 millimeter lens. And that's for, like I say, for B-roll and stuff like that, too. But let's turn it on and see what happens. Yeah, and there it goes. It actually did work. Watch this. Let's, okay, it should turn back off in a second. There it goes. It's off. Now watch this. I'll turn it on again. Try to put it up close. Turn camera on. Camera off. Give it a second. It should go off. There you go. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. So there you go. That's going to be, I'm going to be using this one mainly on the big rig and I'll use the video mic pro on the smaller rig here as well too. But also there's other cables available too from, from road to go from um, the 3.5 millimeter to the additional 3.5 millimeter to go to your phone. But that's like what they call a tip ring ring sleeve. I think that's what they call it as opposed to a tip ring sleeve. So you could actually use one of these microphones with your phone or tablet if you want to get some super, super good audio. Um, and there's a different adapters you can get too. You can get you know, mount little cases around your phone and still mount these onto them. So very, very nice. Your shock mount as well too. As you can see, there's going to be no noise when you're holding the camera, uh, the Ryko, uh, um mount, which is great. So that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's anything else in the box other than the manual to show you. And I always like to go through that, just have a look. But uh, a big thank you to uh, Rode as one of the sponsors on the show here. They've been very, very good to me. Um, really good to me. And I can't thank them enough. Uh, it's also the perfect opportunity to, take, uh, to give thanks to others that support the show as well, too. 
uh, Jeff Hausman at VanHalenStore.com and my good friend Mike Palermo at Mike's Music Online. Really couldn't do this uh, the show without the support from these different people. It allows me to uh, bring good audio quality to you, uh, kind of sport some really cool garb like I'm wearing right now. Get the Van Halen shirt like I'm wearing right now at VanHalenStore.com. And obviously I wouldn't have uh, you know the musical support if I didn't have someone like uh, Mike's Music Online as a, as a sponsor as well. So I promised this was going to be a very short unboxing, which it is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my word on this one. Uh, I'm going to just say again uh, a few uh, words of hello to the folks over in the chat. Uh, Daktar, Justin Grady, Mitch Hanneman, Mystic Stars jumping in. He's on lunch. Says hi, everyone. Charlie S. says, hey, Eric. Um, and Mystic Stars says, it's another beautiful day in EVH land. It's a beautiful day. Any day you're alive is a good day. It's a great day today. It is actually nice. Nice and cool out here in Canada to the temperature. I can go outside in shorts and cut the grass tonight and feel comfortable, which I have to do. Uh, Jeff Humphreys says, Jay Humphreys says, I'm, I'm late. Hi, everyone. And he says, now that's awesome. So thank you guys. Thank you for sharing in the unboxing. And uh, I am going to do a, a full review on these ones, uh, on this one here in the coming days. Um, there's a really good review they're already done. So go, you know, while you're waiting for mine to come out, have a look at Henning Pauly's, which is in the link. Uh, the link to his video is in the description down below. He just posted it this morning, so it's very cool. And I, I posted on Facebook and I said, I'm literally just waiting for the DHL courier to get here with mine. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You'll enjoy his video. He does really, really good work. So anyways, guys, we'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, maybe both. Uh, the more stuff coming in the mail, doing some more unboxings. I don't even think I checked the mail today, so there might even be something there. But uh, I am expecting some stuff from Mark Kendall and from uh, Strymon as well, too. Uh, I'll, give you a little, I'll give you a little hint for the people that are watching right now. It's the Big Sky Reverb. Uh, they're sending me that one um, uh, for the show as well, too. So looking forward to getting that one on the board. And uh, really, I'm going to have to re relocate some things on the board for sure. A couple other pedals are probably going to come off. But the big thing is uh, Scott Kelby, Friday night, one of the world's biggest Van Halen fans. Him and I will argue who's a bigger fan. Um, but uh, he uh, he's he's pretty awesome. He's a multi-talented dude, um, a multi, uh, multi-published multi author, best-selling author. Uh, he's the head and founder of Kelby One. Look up Kelby One. He's head of Photoshop World. Is one of the most published photographers in the world. So don't don't let me scare you uh, when I talk photography and things like that. I know because a lot of I shouldn't say a lot. There are, is a base of my fans here on the show that are into video and videography and photography. So they'll appreciate it. But even if you don't care about cameras whatsoever, come on over because he's going to talk a lot of Van Halen. When he's on some of these biggest uh, corporate shoots, he's out there shooting with you know you know a beautiful suit and what's he wearing underneath a Van Halen. Uh, a Van Halen logo uh, under you know a Van Halen shirt, so that's very very cool. Always gets my respect, and uh, so it's going to be really really awesome. And maybe people that want to want to get into photography and are a little shy of it. I was very shy a few years ago too, and I finally just stopped saying my photos suck, which they did at the time. And once I stopped saying they suck and embraced it and wasn't scared of the camera anymore, I've improved a lot and I have a lot of room to grow yet. But I mean by by removing those those uh, stigmas about yourself you can only go better and I think Scott will have some good advice to people just wanting to get into the game and Daktar says am I giving that one away no uh, sorry I'm not giving this one away I'm going to be I'm going to be hogging this one and using it every day every day for the show here um, and for every every particular way I can put it to good use for EVH Care TV it will be used well um, you can guarantee that but doesn't say that that won't happen down the road who knows I might work out something with road uh, you know as we go higher on uh, subscribers on the channel and, and I'll get something for a giveaway down the road as well too something that can be put to good use so listen everyone thank you so very much I said a 30 minute broadcast I think I'm going to be even less I'm looking at about 18 minutes I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time on a Wednesday afternoon and we'll look forward to seeing you very very soon we're going to turn it over to the little man who's playing the $25,000 EVH Frankenstein replica uh, at mikesmusiconline.com check it out and when I say that that's American price I think it's, it might be a little bit more Canadian but uh, reach out to Mike if you're interested in grabbing that guitar and uh, I wish I could afford that one but it's, uh, it's not in the cards we will See you very soon, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Hey, my name is Eric, and I'm playing the Frankenstrat guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.